That's a gold no. or diamond. That's oh. a gold or diamond. No! Mother! Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> oh God. No way! Oh, Nate, I'm coming for you! Oh, I'm coming God. for that title! No way. <laughs> Holy! No way. Hello, everybody. We are back here on Call of the Wild, the Angler. It's been about a month, maybe two months at this point, since we did a video on the Angler. Uh, but after some recent fishing streams that we did, I decided it was time we do another video, especially with the console release approaching and there being a lot of massive improvements to the game coming with that update. It sounds like it might be sometime in August when we actually get a official release date and uh, at least an update on when the release date will be. But we've got a lot of crazy stuff coming and that is... Uh Okay, we're gonna throw this thing back immediately. That's uh, um, yeah. But as I was saying, there is a massive update coming to the game with some brand new water effects. They've essentially overhauled the entire water system and they're adding eight new fish into the base game reserve. So just one map alone is gonna be getting eight new fish species, which is pretty huge. That is a lot of new fish. And they've also completely reworked the progression system to make it so that you can actually get credits for every fish you catch based on the weight of the fish instead of it being per level which is really that's an amazing change like that really is how the progression should have been from the beginning so it's good to see that they're doing that they're also adding a bunch of new gear in uh they're adding a bunch of new currencies called diamond tokens gold tokens and legendary tokens so Catching those big fish will get you some currency where you can buy like exclusive cosmetics or an exclusive rod and reel, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll correct myself in editing if I'm wrong there. But because of all that amazing news that they talked about for the console release and the fact that this is soon going to most likely become a much more popular game based on the major changes they're doing to improve the game and the fact that it's going to be completely cross-play across all platforms, including PC and all the consoles, I figured it was time that we start getting into a little bit more angler content since I know a lot of you are going to be looking for stuff like that. So today we are going to look at one of my favorite locations to catch diamond char. Because with those new diamond tokens being added to the game, you're going to want to farm those up to get some of the cosmetics and items that you can only purchase with those diamond tokens. So I decided that this would be the perfect time to do a video on the diamond char. Because this lake right here netted me a lot of diamond char during one of the live streams that I did recently with Brobra and uh, a few others as well. Oh, there we go. We got another fish going for it. And there we go. Beautiful. So that is fish number two of the day. I'm using a much lighter setup than I normally do. Kind of to prepare for another change that they're going to be doing with this uh, console release. They're going to make it so the gear that you're using will kind of depict the amount of XP and stuff like that that you get for each fish you catch. Using proper tackle will net you more XP than if you were to use something incredibly overpowered. So I've decided to use a rod that's a bit more in line with what these fish tend to be in terms of their fighting power. So if we end up hooking into a big gold or a diamond, it's going to put up a decent fight. And while I'm thinking about it, this is the lake that I'm currently at. This lake is absolutely amazing. This is on the uh, Troll Sporet uh, Norway Reserve. And yeah, this is an amazing place. Best uh, thing to use is typically spinners and spoons. And I think there's also a couple other things, but I've always had the best luck on the spinners and spoons. Right now I'm using a size five spinner and it's doing pretty good. I believe this setup is like a 44 pound uh, rod and reel. I'll take a look at that in a second once we reel up. So this setup that I'm currently using is a 44 pound strength rod called the Whippet. This is a free DLC that you can get on the uh, Steam store. So once you go to the store and find Angler, you can go to the DLCs and this one should be available. It's like a classic tackle pack or something. And it's got a really good rod and reel combo. We got the 24 pound reel and we've got the 22 pound braid with a size five spinner. This is what we're going to be using. Typically, I use this heavy rod right here. It's the best rod and reel in the game for casting with some 99 pound braid and then I'll throw on the five spinner. But not for the sake of today's video and the future changes, I decided we would go a little bit lighter. But while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and show some highlights from a recent fishing stream with Brobra and everybody else like I just mentioned. And it was kind of crazy. 
Between all of us, I believe there was five or six of us playing, we ended up catching 10 diamonds amongst everybody, with three of those being diamonds that I ended up catching myself. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at all of those insane diamonds from that stream. I unfortunately forgot to uh, save the replay of the very first one, so you'll see my stream overlay over top of it. But uh, without further ado, let's get into it. You are welcome. Oh, oh I'm not giving thanks. up, Don. Thank, thanks, Zach. Oh. I mean, he's the That's a big fish, one. whatever it is. Oh, please be a char. Please be a char. Uh, I gotta go back to the, the five screen here. Tony, am I the char king now? I don't think Is this a char? If this is a char, this that. might be a dime. Oh. I mean, uh, oh, it's... they got a third diamond. Is this a char? Zach, you I don't know if Tony can see. Oh, wait. <gasps> it's a char! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank it's you. It's a huge you. char! It's a silver. Is it a diamond? It might be. It's either big gold or diamond. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, diamond! Are you kidding me? Let's go! Are you Let's go! Me? Oh! oh. <laughs> 20 oh. pounder, baby! Let's go! <laughs> what am I doing oh. wrong? Oh, that's no. right. We're adding a diamond. I didn't get a diamond. Uh. Oh they my gosh! Diamond, a Let's freaking go! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guys, it has been like um over a month since I've had a diamond in this game. Given I've only fished like fifteen or twenty hours in the last couple months, but still, that's been more than ten minutes. If you have it set up for ten, I have mine set for twelve. Oh, well, maybe. Is that fish hooked? Wait, is that? Did you guys just see a diamond char jump? What? I think I got a diamond char in the in the waters. <laughs> this is no, no, no. Or was that a fish that Tony had on? Tony's hooked up. Tony That's definitely not the one that I saw. I don't know if you've been in everyone else's chat, but you are missing a legendary tackle Tuesday. It's uh so good, everyone loves it. We're all having a lot of fun. Everyone is having fun. I, I feel all like Brobra likes this more than we do. Oh, there's a fish. Is that him? All that might of us be him. are having a lot of fun right now. Every one of us is we might be very hooked up into the giant. A very good time. Yeah, we are. Oh, I think this is him. I think this is oh, the giant. Oh, no. guys, he's gonna dethrone me. We'll see. I don't know if this is a diamond. It's not fighting as hard as the dime. It might not even be the same fish that I saw jump, though. We'll see. Oh, oh yeah, it's a big char. That's a big oh, boy God. char. Oh, my gosh. Is that? Oh, it's taking so long to secure. Uh, he's got it. <laughs> no. Are you sick? Yes. Yes. Dude, two let's go. Time. I'm coming for you, Nate. <laughs> oh, my you got, gosh. You no diamond, way. You got a diamond and a gold to go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, is this the greatest comeback of all time? Holy! I bet you're loving this, Johnny. Are you you're using size this. five spinner? I don't have time to use a size five spinner. Bro, I bro. I don't have time use to what works. All the small fish. <laughs> well, it's working. All right, I'm coming over there to Scarecrow. I'm going to check what he has My now. life is a participation yeah. trophy. Fellow. Head on over, brother. You know what's funny? I actually, the fish jumped right next to your boat. It was like right next to your boat. Really? Aye, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. That was where I Am ended up. Am I in anybody's oh. way here? Yes, Florida. Um, I'm reeling a fish through you. Tell me if it's big. Oops. It's to your left somewhere. Aye. It feels decent. This feels like a large fish. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me get on the observatory here. Like right below you pretty much. I don't see squat. I oh. see water. Really? I don't see chip. Well, this really? seems like maybe a gold char. Oh, it's, Me? Chip? it's probably a 14 pounder silver is what I'd say. No. It's definitely hey. fight. Oh, oh no, that's not a silver. That's a gold no. or diamond. That's oh. a gold or diamond. No. Mother. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, God. No way. Hey. Oh, Nate, I'm coming for you. Oh, I'm coming God. for that title. No way. <laughs> Holy. There's no way. There's no way. Dude. There's no way. Oh, no my way. gosh. Mm -mm. Both Nate and I have got three diamonds. Oh, my oh, gosh. No. How is that possible? Oh, 
Dude, why, I've why, did, why, why did we lengthen the time 30 minutes? I, I've never got two diamonds in one day, let alone he three. Got, he would have got it. He would have got it in just the initial 30 minutes. Oh my yeah, god! But, but now I'm worried. We what a day, worried, man! Me. Now that we've gone over the uh, fish that we ended up getting, all the diamonds, I think it's time that we actually try to catch one for this video specifically. As uh, I feel like it would just not be right if we didn't leave with at least one giant fish, whether it's a big gold or a diamond. And if we're unfortunately not able to catch anything from here, which that actually looks like a decent fish, it could be an eyed though. Yeah, that's an eyed. If we can't manage to catch a diamond from here, there is two other lakes that are very, very good for diamonds. So if we don't get one here, we'll go to those two lakes because they can be almost as good. There we go. We got another fish on. It's been a little bit since we got the last one. I think we've hit a little bit of a dead streak, unfortunately. At about five to ten minutes of not really getting too much. So let's just get that guy in. And that one is once again going to be a bronze, unfortunately. I see a couple of fish that keep surfacing over in this direction. So I think we're going to try and move up and maybe hook into whatever this is. That's one thing I really like to do in this game is whenever I get to my favorite lake, I tend to look for places where I see stuff surfacing and targeting those areas. Definitely got one like right over here, and I think there is a fish over to the left as well. Man, I really cannot wait until they bring in those water improvements because the water has always been one part of this game that really lacked. And I've kind of always just overlooked it because this game plays more to my preferred play style than a lot of other fishing games. It's a lot more fast paced, but it's definitely a uh, no surprise and no secret that the water game has kind of always lacked in this, but it's looking like we're going to get a massive improvement to the water in the very, very near future. So that is really awesome to see. There is our little char. That is going to be a 10.56 pound silver. Not a huge one, but definitely better than the last few. That fish keeps surfacing over there. I'm really hoping that that means that it's ready to bite. Unfortunately, we didn't get him on that last cast, so hard to say. There's another fish going for it, and there we go. Not the one that we're after, but it is another fish. Another small one, but a fish nonetheless. That is, wow, that's the smallest one of the day. 4.32. Yikes. There we go. We got ourselves another fish, uh, this time in the night, as I decided to go into a uh, multiplayer. And so it changed it to whatever that server's time was set to, and it just happened to be night. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Can still catch the giants, just maybe not as uh, many fish popping up this time of day. There we go. We got another fish on. I decided to uh, once again try to get into a different server. Kept being nighttime, so I had to restart my game. And uh, eventually got into one that is daytime again, so that is nice. And that right there is another very average size jar. You know, one thing you could do is up the size of the lure to only catch like gold or diamond fish, but you can sometimes be waiting for literally over an hour uh, when you do stuff like that. So I tend to use the smaller lures that most of the fish of that species can bite just so there's lots of action, but unfortunately you have to sift through all of the low weight fish uh, to finally get a diamond when you do it that way when you go with the big lures it's just you catch nothing for a long time and then when you do it's going to usually be something pretty good oh 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 my gosh there we go yes that's a giant right there that right there is a giant all i did was raise to the level four spinner instead of the uh or not level four but size four instead of size five and we hooked into a really good char now, is this a diamond or a big gold? I think it's a gold. No, it's actually... Wow, that thing looked way bigger in the water. That actually kind of blows my mind. That thing looked huge when it was zooming at us. It could just be because it was a little bit closer than what they normally bite at. But uh, either way, best fish of the day. I mean, I can't even lie. That thing really tricked me into thinking it was a gold. But unfortunately, it was a few pounds short of being one. There we go. We got another fish on. Let's see. Okay, that might be a little bit better. I don't think it's going to be much bigger than the last one, but this might be a 13 or 14 pounder, potentially. Yeah, it's looking okay. Again, 
not a giant, but imagine that this one actually is a giant and I'm just misjudging it because of how the last one went. <laughs> but, but no, this one is a little bit bigger than the last, but not a ton. Oh, there we go. That one is looking decent. Okay, that one actually might be like 13 plus. That is the first one that has pulled out a little line when it struck. But we were so close to the boat that we were able to get it in pretty quickly. And yeah, 13.17. Definitely moving up in the world. I've noticed that once I switched to the size 4, everything has been 12 pounds or above. So maybe size 4 is going to be the sweet spot for the uh, spinner size without it completely making it so you catch nothing. Because again, if you go up to like some of the larger spinners, you really only catch the diamonds. And it can sometimes be a long time without getting anything. So I think this is a good middle ground. You get the big silvers and then golds and diamonds. I think that's a good middle ground. I think we see a fish going after it right now. Yeah, we definitely got a fish on. Let's hope this is another solid size silver. It definitely looks like it could be. Yeah, that's going to be probably 11, maybe 12 pounds, I would guess. Doesn't look as big as the last one. I'll be surprised if it is. Yeah, not even close. That's an eight pounder. Wow. Unfortunate. Smallest one off of this particular lure. And now we visit what is probably my favorite lake on this entire map. This is a place where I got my first diamond char and my second and my third. This is such a good location. It's also got stuff like brown trout, Atlantic salmon, and I believe some eyed as well. There's a lot of good fish in this lake right here, but the main reason we are here is for the diamond char. Uh, if you look right here, it gives you all the different species. So yeah, pretty much what I said. And then I think I missed the grayling. There's also grayling in here, but you're not going to catch those unless you're using much uh, smaller lures than what we're using today. Now, the downside to this place is we're probably going to have to go up in size for our line and our rod and stuff because there's also Atlantic salmon here, which uh, we're going to be spending lots of time breaking off if we hook into... A bunch of giant Atlantics so we're definitely gonna have to raise up the uh, strength of our setup which isn't really what I wanted to do for this video but it is what it is we will go to the heavier setup just so we don't end up breaking off a bunch of big salmon because there's gonna be a lot of them and I mean this is nowhere near being the largest ones that we could come across and once again that does appear to be a salmon well this is looking to be a long day, unfortunately. Yeah, that is an even smaller salmon. There we go. There we go. That is a decent looking char that just bit our lure. Let's reel it in. Hopefully this one will be at least a gold. It looks a lot bigger than most of the ones we've caught today. Uh, I'm going to say 14, maybe 15 pounds. Uh, 1165. Okay, so definitely not what I thought it was, but still decent. Got another one on. Man, we are hooking them way faster over at this lake. Definitely not uh, not as many diamonds getting caught in this lake compared to the one that we were just at. But I still see a decent amount of giant fish coming out of here. But a lot more of them are going to be about the size of this guy. That actually looks like a decent... Oh my gosh, that's more than decent. Uh, that looks to be a really, really solid Atlantic. Actually, maybe it just looked that way. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's a good silver, but not a gold, not a diamond. Another fish on. Man, it's been every single cast since we went back to this lake. Man, you love to see it. You love to see it, though. Again, not any giant char, which is a little bit unfortunate. Another day, another bronze Atlantic salmon. Sad day, man. There is a decent fish. I'm actually not sure how big that one's going to be. It's really close, so it could definitely be deceiving, but I think that's a solid one. Yeah, that's a gold. 1590, we finally got ourselves a gold char, which was the goal. Get either a gold or a diamond. It, uh took me over an hour and a half but we finally made it happen we got ourselves a gold char and i think that is a great place to end the video if you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like down below as well as commenting telling me that you enjoyed the content and 
let me know what type of stuff you would like to see me do here on the angler in the future would you prefer to see just trophies do you want to see guides do you want to see things like just funny moments from streams let me know and i'll definitely try to make more of that in the future there's a lot of cool stuff coming to this game and i think the uh cross play update and all of the console releases is just gonna be the beginning but thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next one peace